All right, guys, little tip for you here. Um, you'll see me do this often here when I do this, but I'll show you why and explain it to you. But see, you can see I'm tethered in with a bowline. I do that all the time. Okay, it's locked right into my harness right here. But what I'm talking about is this. Notice that I have my lineman belt connected to that same loop of that tether it's hanging right on here i do that on purpose if something were to happen and i were to fall out of the stand my sticks are there this will let me get down low enough to get to my sticks however say i fell off this side and i'm hanging over here this rope swings around and i'm stuck there i can't maneuver this gives me another rope that i can grab onto that i can straighten myself out i can pull myself up i can do whatever i need to to get me corrected even if i were to turn upside down for some weird reason here i can grab that rope and slide it anywhere i need to around a tree to be able to use that to get me into position and then i can also take this end of it hook it on there and create a loop that I could use as a step if I needed to step to get up higher. Say I fell and hit that stick and knocked it off or something. You know, weird stuff happens. But point being, by having this here and leaving that hang and dangle on there, it's always in that safe location for me that if I need it for some reason, if something happens to me, I'm going to have access to it. I also leave my tether line very long. And what that does for me is allows me enough be able of flexibility too to be able to uh, use that in conjunction with it if I need to anyway. And another tip for you, stealth strips. Put stealth strips anywhere that you need to put stealth strips on there to keep things quiet. This is for where it contacts my platform. This is for where this bolt for the seat comes down and hits. Nice and quiet, no noise coming from that. Love that. And then this Rubicon, you noticed it. I don't have a hole in here to hook my carabiner on like I used to have on my Lone Wolf Assault. So we have a piece of paracord going right through there. I hook right on that paracord with my pack. Makes things simple, sweet, and easy. One last tip for you. Since we got up here, when we got up here in the morning, as soon as it broke daylight, I wanted to shoot a practice arrow. Shooting a judo. You can see my judo is missing from that back spot on my quiver. This arrow goes here, but I always like to shoot a judo to make sure that I'm fresh and up to date. You can see here we got good shooting out here. This is my way out. Okay, we got shooting here, we got shooting here, but I put the judo there. I shot right at that stick, right at the this lane at the base of that tree, and you can see my judo sticking in there perfectly. The reason I put that there, you can see it, the yellow feathers right there. The reason I shot it there is if you look at that, no deer is going to walk there. They're not going to, it's, it's kind of a safe spot where no deer is going to walk up and smell my arrow. Had I shot it here, or had I shot it here, there's a good chance that a deer walks through here. He's going to smell that. He's going to hit those fletching with his nose. And he's going to catch that, and we're going to be busted. You don't want to have that happen. So that tip of being able to shoot that arrow into a spot that is not obtrusive or going to get you busted is very, very important. So anyway, I thought I'd give you some tips and some ideas on the setup on here while we were up here and getting ready to get down. Also notice my sticks climb this side of the tree and my stand is this way i did not climb and put my stand over here where i gotta swing around a tree 90 degrees is a rule for your sticks to your stand never 180 never coming up here and then trying to put a stand on this side where you got to reach around a tree which means you'll put sideways pressure on this platform and you'll move this platform sideways you don't want to have that happen 90 degree setup if i were put the stand this way and it was too close to those sticks i have to lean way out to get up in the stand because of the platform sticking out that becomes a problem as well too now another tip for you if it's a windy day take these straps that you see look how long this xop strap is i love that but take these straps and tuck them so that they're not going to blow and the wind's not going to blow them around on you same with your stick straps those straps flapping like that on a windy day will get you busted all the time so just a couple of uh tips from the stand to kind of put it into perspective for you and uh, help you out but this one here people ask about that on my patreon all the time why do i always hang that there that's why it's another safety factor. If I fall out of here, if I fell asleep even, and fell and dumped out of here, this side I get access to my sticks. I put this directly around the back of the tree, right there on the very back. 
if something happened to me and I fell this way, that rope is right there for me to grab and use it any way I need to to safely get me back over here to the sticks or to the stand or whatever I got to do. So, uh, little tips for you. Thanks for watching.